short profile. In questa diapositiva vedete uno schema che ho This analysis is based on my clinical experience in approaching the new OT bridge technique over the past years. Short profile intendiamo l'altezza, l'ingombro, protezione. I will begin with the dimensional comparison of each abutment and the correspondent prosthetic space they occupy. The standard MUA component is normally available in multiple heights and dimensions, but each solution has a larger size compared to the OT equator that was designed as a reduced profile solution. Both types of components are available in multiple heights, but MUAs have a larger volume and require a minimal height to work as angulated solutions. OT Equator will keep the same reduced dimensional space regardless of the required angulation to correct a necessary gingival height. Narrow Emergency The narrow emergency diameter of the OT Equator abutment results to be a perfect match with the implant platform, providing an ideal solution in platform switching. Standard MUA components begin with a reduced profile that enlarges reaching a widest area. The emergency area then might be lightly reduced in both options, but while the MUA will be growing in height and diameter, providing a larger platform, the OT equator will keep its diameter regardless of the gingival height. Counting on a high profile with reduced dimensions, taking into consideration the recent clinical studies, the OT equator abutment allows to considerably preserve and save the bone absorption. At the same time, the aesthetic advantage will result an impact factor in different situations, such as full dentures with central or lateral emergencies teeth. The OT equator component offers a reduced diameter, providing an improved natural aesthetic result. We will be able also to avoid tissues compressions and the related possible clinical complications. Tight connection. Both abutments types, standard and OT equator, connections are certified with differences according to the implant platform. We are able to count on tight connections with considerable advantages in the clinical concepts one abutment, one time application. Prosthetic torque. Prosthetic torque. Il torque di inserimento di questi abutment is. The primary insertion torque force is similar in both solutions. The difference is reported with the secondary screw with the OT equator allowing to reach a 25 Newton forces, while the standard abutment normally counts on 15 to 20 Newton forces. This is possible counting on the larger dimension of the secondary screw of the OT equator, which results to be more resistant, offering additional safety in screwing the prosthesis. The same advantage allows also to screw and unscrew the component multiple times with no risk of fractures. Plaque accumulation. OT equator abutments of count on the TIN coating, allowing to reduce the plaque adhesion with lower susceptibility to bacterial attack. On the other side, multi-units abutments might or might not be TIN coated. This is depending on the manufacturing company. Seeger components benefits. Poi abbiamo due benefit che sono presenti negli OT equator, non sono presenti nei multi abutment. The Seeger component is an additional benefit of the OT equator abutment. This conical Teflon ring is placed between the abutment and the denture, working as a shock absorber, offering a superior level of adaptability. Snap-on functionality. An additional advantage of this application is offered by the snap-on functionality, providing an interlocking feature to the denture that will be retained just as an over-denture prosthesis. 
the Seeger rings will hold the denture in position almost permanently. Even if this will not be enough to absorb the masticatory forces itself, the dentist will be able to run the stability tests for the bar and for the denture reaching the suitable position for the prosthesis waiting to lock the screws. A very comfortable option. The Seeger rings are offering also more advantages, such as avoiding the possible loosening of the screws over time and the opportunity to stabilize one or more implants in our clinical case without any screw needed. This option is indicated by all the clinical trials with all on four applications avoiding to use one screw, with anterior screws in our prosthesis or even with five to six implants in the same cases avoiding to use two screws. By using just the Seeger component retention force and not screwing any screw, we can count on a significant aesthetical advantages if the hole is particularly problematic. Versatility. This is a really important advantage. Each multi-unit abutment is available with a straight profile or with two angulated profiles when facing severe implant divergent cases. Regardless to the choice, they can be used only as fixed restoration solutions. The OT equator abutment allows to correct up to 85 degrees of divergence, always counting on the same component. The same abutment can be used also in implant retained overdenture treatments allowing the dentist to count on a unique solution adaptable to all implant platforms, diameters and connections. The versatility allows to switch from a fixed to removable restorations and vice versa and to count also on a provisional temporary solutions. Diverging implants the multi-unit abutments can compensate up to 104 degrees of implant divergence as presented in the current image. We need to consider that this feature is possible with multi-angulated components that require precise degrees such as the ones in the image with 30. This will increase the problems related to heights and bone profile management. The OT equator abutments will count on specific and modified sleeves reaching a degree of correction between 80 and 85 degrees, but we need to consider the practicality of counting on a unique solution. An additional point has to be covered in regard to the narrow profile emergency, which is not just offering practical advantages in reducing the bone absorption, but also during the insertion phases of the abutments. Today, the gold standard requires to insert the implants below the ridges and large abutments platforms often create issues in relation to the bone surfaces. We are normally forced to face this problem with bone profiles to remove bone tissues around the implants, allowing the multi-unit component to fit properly. As the OT equator abutment profiles fit the implant diameters perfectly, or even narrower, we will count on an important clinical advantage. Conclusion In conclusion, my clinical experience leads me to confirm the validity of the classic multi-unit abutment component which has been used for multiple years. They allow to convert the platform and lock the connection with the one abutment one time functionality allowing to preserve the bone moving all the activity above it. The passivation functionality and the extreme divergence correction is a stable functionality in both types of solutions, standard components and OT equator abutments. My studies and reports show that OT equators are a more modern option with higher versatility with multiple benefits that I will point out again. Bone tissue saving, narrower emergency profile, overall versatility, secondary screwing improvement, Seeger component snap-on applications, screws and component saving. I hope my analysis was clear and interesting and I want to thank you all for the attention.
Spero di aver chiarito questa diapositiva e vi ringrazio.